Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the P10. Friends, today we're going to do our first offline cut, so let's get cracking. All right, everybody, so I'm going to use this tiny bit of wood here, and we're going to cut out what I call a happy crab. Let's get it set up in Lightburn. All right, friends, so first things first, I am in Lightburn, and I'm going to switch to the P10. It is not connected via USB, so we won't see anything show up there. Then I'm going to go over here, and I am going to open a previous file. Let's see if we can find this by using search. If I type happy, we'll see if we can find my old project. Happy crab, one layer for pine. I'm going to open V2. There are currently two of them in here. My piece of wood is pretty small, so I'm going to delete one. And I'm going to do File, Save As, and then I'm going to rename this as P10, so I know which laser I set it up for. Now if we zoom in, let's click and check our layers. It is 3012 in this current iteration. I'm going to make sure I'm on setting number two. And there is my 400 and my 5 with 100%. And then I'm going to go here with the mouth and do the same thing. And with the little eye holes, same thing. This time I'm going to do shift select so I've got them both. And we can set up that layer all at once. So friends, with our design put together, now we need to save it to the SD card. I have plugged in my SD card to the little adapter. And now I'm going to plug it in the PC. There you can see it has been selected. I'm going to do File Now, and I'm going to Save as G-Code. And I'm going to put that in the USB drive. That name is just Groovy, so I'm going to hit Save. And then don't forget, we want to safely eject it. Now I can remove it, and let's go play on the laser. So, of course, let's power it on. There you can see we get the logo, and it goes to the Carve menu. I'm going to press in the SD card, and then we can click on the Carve menu, and there is my Happy Crab. So let's get our piece of wood out there on the protective area. We are going to right now use these controls to nudge the laser out so that I can actually see it with the camera. You can pick how much it's moving, so I was moving 10 millimeters. If you wanted to move one, you can just do that. I'm gonna go back to 10. And now I can move my piece of wood into place. Now you can see we do have a dot in there so that it's tracking it. Before we do anything else though, let's make sure the height is right. I'm going to flip down the kickstand. That slides under there just perfect, so I am happy with that. I'm going to put the kickstand back up. Let's get it right to that corner. Now friends, I'm going to count that as my starting point, so I'm going to hit positioning and yes. And now let's test the contour scanning. So it's checking to see where it's going to fit. <laughs> Friends, that is absolutely perfect. So we're as happy as can be. Pretty cool for just guessing. We're going to grab the goggles. And now with my goggles put on, let's hit start. It says how many passes. I already put six in there, so when I say one, it'll be one times six. If you did two, you'd end up with 12. So I'm gonna hit yes, and let's make something awesome.
Alrighty friends, so there we have it, a happy crab. Let's see how well it cut out. Oh, it is so close. Those little legs down here on this corner gave us a little bit of a problem. It is so close. I'm going to just finish with this X-Acto knife really quick. You can see that part was easy peasy. Now I'm just working around these legs. I'm setting it down on the table just because it's a lot easier. And there, after a moment... We have got an adorable little happy crab. Now friends, these are so awesome. I also 3D print them. And the eyes of one will balance on the other. The only problem is the wooden one is a lot lighter than the 3D printed one. But there you can see, you can do many, many of them. And they're actually fun to play with as well. Friends, I do also want to highlight how useful this carve interface is. Uh, so slick to have designs on SD card. I can take the laser anywhere I want. I don't even need a PC. All I need is some material. And bam, I'm laser cutting cool designs. How fun is that? Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Simple steps to use the P10 with the sweet built-in interface. Now, friends, if you're looking for more information, there are links down below. And, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.